Well, we must all know this guy and how well he performed in the series Suits. He is the most famous Harvey Specter, and he was not just a well-dressed lawyer, but also a master negotiator. So, in today's video, we are going to see few negotiation lessons from him, which is definitely going to help us in our business. Number one, be prepared. Well, whenever Harvey Specter went into a meeting, he was prepared with everything he needed to know about the other party, right from the background, right from all the dirty things they have done, from the bottom line, their strengths, their weaknesses, everything, and he used that to leverage on the deal so that he could win the deal. Well, this was one of the most classic and the most used tactics by Harvey Specter in the series Suits. And I'm sure this is going to help. You. Number two, staying silent. Well, not all the deals are done when you keep talking. Some of the deals are done when you keep silent. So Harvey used his silence very properly and he used it in a way that the other person felt the need to fill the silence. And whenever they were filling in the silence, they used to give a lot of information which gave Harvey the upper hand and gave him a better leverage on the deal, leading him to win. Number three, making a sense of urgency. Well, if you have seen the series properly, in most of his deals, he have created a sense of urgency by giving a take it or leave it offer. Well, when you do this, you give a pressure to the other party to take the deal right away or else they are going to miss out on the deal and on the opportunity itself. This was another tactic which was used really well by Harvey and was put so well into use. That's number three, bringing in the sense of urgency. Number four, building rapport. Now, I have emphasized a lot in my other videos the importance of building rapport whenever you're doing a conversation, but Harvey was the one who performed it really well. In all his conversations, he first builds the rapport. He tries to get to know the other person by active listening and a lot of empathy. This gives him a sense of what the other person is, what they fear about, and he can read them so easily. In fact, the character Donna also used it so well. I think she was the best one to build rapport with anyone in the show. So using rapport is going to be the most important one no matter whichever conversation you are in whether it's a negotiation one or not if you like more of my content then do give me a follow and do share it with anyone who really needs to watch this thank you